Hi everybody, uh, right then, I just thought I'd give you an update at where I am with my uh, new Gundam Verkai build. As you can see, uh, the inner frame's complete. Um, I haven't painted uh, that white part there yet. Um, everything else uh, is pretty much done. Um, I've also added some metal detailing parts, the, the thrusters, uh, the knees, elbows and uh, shoulders, let's just uh, get this out so what have I done here, yeah, I've put some uh, put some detail sets there and uh, so he's, he's fully painted and he's ready for his armour and uh, I'll be starting that soon enough but um, what paints did I use um, obviously the uh, Vallejo model air uh, black metal on these parts I used uh, steel and gun metal uh, uh, just some normal black now uh, these uh, hip joints that you can see here let me focus that it was quite easy to get that effect uh, once I'd painted uh, the hip joints so I'd like and painted some detail in by hand I um, I then used if I can just find this up oh, there you go uh, some mesh now it's this was just off a, um, a Halloween costume that my wife altered for my daughter and there were some bits and dabs left lying around and what I originally was going to use it for was um, bases uh, figure bases I like to give like a um, uh, like a metal grid effect but um, so what I did was once everything was uh, sprayed uh, steel and everything was masked I uh, held this in place around with a bit of tape until it was uh, nice and tight over the top something like that and then I just uh, airbrushed uh, black over the top of that let it dry for just literally a minute or so and revealed uh, what you see there and after a, a gloss coat it doesn't look too bad let me just get it to it to focus. No, I just want to play. But yeah, it, it gives a like a. I know it's out of scale, but it gives like a, a carbon fiber type effect. So um, the gold. What did I use for the gold? It's a nice gold actually. What I actually did was I got myself one of these. Now I actually brought this as a um, to use like a panel line type marker. It's got that same type of nib but it's uh, a little bit wider and uh, when I started using it I found out that the gold itself is really really nice um, unlike old clad it's not really really super mirror reflective but it does give a very very nice uh, very nice appearance um, and this is uh, enamel based so uh, I literally removed the top and uh, uh, decanted that into a Vallejo style bottle if I can just find it, here it is uh, a little bottle and um, I put all the bits in there as well and uh, I 50-50 um, thinned it with uh, like I said enamel thinner and once you put that through your airbrush it's a surprisingly good alternative to um, uh, Alclad uh, you can it dries a lot as quick but it's uh, you can handle it without it coming off and um, I'd recommend that to everybody give it a go because Fair enough, the, the pen itself, it's a little bit more expensive than what you'd pay, but the results uh, are great, I really like it, it's a really durable, nice gold, and it can be brushed on as well, uh, and as long as you um, thin it, it it's uh, it's perfect through your airbrush, and I think there was about, I think that was about £3.50 from Hobbycraft, uh, I actually brought a silver one to start off with, and um, this is the, yeah, that's the type of nib, uh, that you get very similar to a panel liner but uh much so but uh, yeah that I haven't used that one yet I'm planning on using that further down the line in the kit probably um just to detail the fin funnels 
on the inside of the fin funnels where the effect parts go. Uh, but yeah, that, that you know, uh, that's a, a great little tip. Uh, get yourself one of these paint markers because uh, for an enamel paint, it, they're not bad at all. They're not. It's not like um, glittery gold. It's a really solid gold. The actual pigments in there must be must be uh, super super small because it's a really nice reflective gold. I've got it dotted here and there on the hip joints and uh, uh, the wrists and there's some other parts in here that I've done as well with it. Uh, the V fin that come out really nice, really nice. So you can see it reflecting in the light. Um, parts of the wrist, etc. But um, yeah, nice paint. I'd advise advise anybody to give it a try. Well, right then, what else do we get? Um, the insides of the uh, the side skirts and the back skirts, they're all done. And uh, I've also uh, got these ready for when I actually get the armour done. They're all done on the insides now, using that gold again. But this was uh, this was an owl clad. It was something very similar. It's called a uh, spazdix. Yeah, I know it uh, sounds really politically incorrect, but um, all I did with uh, that was just it's exactly the same process as uh, owl clad, gloss black, uh, followed by um, uh, the spazdix chrome mirror chrome. And that one was exactly the same, but obviously just went over it with a bit of a Tamiya clear red, and it gives a nice candy colour. So that's them done. Right then, so what's next? Ah, yeah, my thrusters. Um, these parts, oh dear, these parts that uh, are the thrusters mounted in are ready. They're all painted. I used um, some uh, Vallejo model colour. I think it was bronze, and because like I wanted a, a burnt type effect, I. Uh, I give them a wash. It was an, uh, an enamel wash, and it's really dirty and grubby, but it's still got a nice little sheen to it, which is what I wanted. And uh, I'll be fixing these painted and finished thrusters into there. I'll be using the uh, micro scale uh, crystal clear, that PVA glue, which dries uh, well crystal. And uh, I just didn't want to use super glue really because. Um, Super glues, uh, it's uh, it can be a bit cracky and snappy and a bit. Even though it's a good bond, I didn't want to use it. So uh, yeah, these are all painted up now and ready to be fitted. Um, I just used on the centre part. I used um, some Tamiya smoke and then for the red again. This is straight onto bare metal. I didn't prime it or anything. I just uh, lightly sprayed a few coats of uh, the red to give it the candy colour and the same for the. Uh, the blue and the base so yeah those are already that's where I'm at so far so what's next obviously all these armor parts are next but what I'm going to do I'm going to prime everything I'm going to separate the blues and the uh, the greys and I'm going to uh, prime everything white use use the uh, Vallejo uh, polyurethane primer and get all those done and uh, I'll be making a few videos uh, about the uh, the spraying and what techniques I'm going to use shortly. So yeah, the weekend's coming up, uh, and hopefully I will get enough time uh, to uh, to do it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put some stills up of the uh, the inner frame itself. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with a few videos very soon.